like Colorado or Bama had the more disappointing loss? I think it was Alabama because I really looked at Alabama, Molly, as a team that could win the national championship. Colorado was a fantastic story, and, and it's still an amazing story. But Bama goes out to Norman, Oklahoma, completely taking the Sooners for granted. Uh, they've been a bad team all year. They have five losses. They're struggling to even get to a bowl game. And, and they just played the worst game uh, imaginable. And there's no one to blame other than the top because Kalen DeBoer looked uh, completely outmatched, uh, outcoached. Uh, they were unprepared. Uh, and it's inexcusable to lay an egg like that. And I've covered Alabama football for more than 40 years, Molly. And, and I can't remember in a critical game. I'm not talking about with the bad coaches that Alabama has had in between Bryant and Saban. But in a critical game where everything was on the line, a bid to the SEC championship, a bid to the CFP, they just completely no-showed. Uh, and Jalen Milrow getting a lot of the blame, uh, and deservedly so. What really bugged me about Milrow is uh, on, on one of the pick six, uh, on the pick six that he threw, he, he didn't even, uh, he barely attempted uh, to stop the guy. And, and that showed me something about the character of this football team. I'm going to go Colorado because it was the fashion in which Colorado got beat. Um, I read the story that the Kansas punter, his parents came all the way, his family came all the way from Australia. Stephen A. He ain't put once. They probably say, son, <laughs> we came all the way, we flew a day to oh see you God. punt, get one from punt, Australia? and you didn't punt at all? No. <laughs> it, it was that the fashion. So if you think about it, if oh. all I got to do, all, if, if Paul and Stephen A., if I tell you one team rushed for 300 more yards than the opposing team, they had top time of possession, two to one, and they were 19 of 14 on third down, and they were two or two on fourth down. So they were 11 and six of 16 on third and fourth down, and they didn't punt once. You're going to say the other, well, whoever they played, they got their eyes beat out. There it is right there. It was the fashion. I mean, they called it, Livingston would call a run blitz. They have the guy in the backfield what was supposed to be a two-yard loss, and the guy picks up 27. You get a horse collar. Now it's an extra 15 tacked on, so you got a 42-yard game when it should have been. Colorado just did not come to play. I don't know. Coach Prime said they came. They got intoxicated by success. They started to read the press, press clippings, and Colorado didn't play that bad offensively. They just couldn't get the ball. And when they got and, and 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 every time Kansas got the ball, they just run for up and down the field. It was Colorado because they really controlled their own destiny. They had an opportunity to do something really, really special. This is a great this is a great season. Don't get me wrong. One and twelve, four and eight. They got an opportunity to finish nine and three. But this could have been one of the great coach. This could have been one of the great seasons, historic season in college football history. Shannon, I'm going to disagree with you for two reasons. Here's the deal. First things first. Colorado, as disappointed as that was, if you remember, Shannon, you and I were together. We both went to the Colorado game last year. We saw them start off 3-0, mm -hmm. and then we saw them feeling themselves. Well, what did Deion say again mm -hmm. this, uh, this weekend? They were feeling themselves because, obviously, they only had two losses. They had eight wins. You're destined for a bowl game. Everybody's talking about you, and you keep acting. That this is the problem with Colorado half the time. You act like you, Deion. No, he's your coach. He's the face of the program. He runs the show. <laughs> but you ain't him. Because that brother, with, you know, with all of his bravado, with all of his swag, with all the attention he was seeking, went on the field and backed it up in epic he historical fashion, up. retiring as the greatest cornerback and arguably the greatest athlete we have ever seen in our lives. That's why he could do that. That's why he could come back when he left Atlanta and come back and say, this is my house. That's why he could do that. Y'all ain't <laughs> them. And once again, you reminded everybody you thought you were and you had to be humbled. <laughs> so as disappointing as that is, Shannon, it's also somewhat predictable. It doesn't compare to Alabama. Three points, bro. <laughs> three points. Paul Five on three points. Three, th three points. That's all you could do against Oklahoma. Look, the minute you mention Oklahoma and football, that used to automatically mean 20 points for you because they ain't play any damn defense, okay? But suddenly they get to shut you down. You scored three points. What has happened this season with Kalen DeBoer? 
You lost as number one to Vanderbilt. That's the first time you lost to Vanderbilt in 40 you. years. You're right. You <laughs> lost to Vanderbilt. They, 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 right. You lost to Vanderbilt. You lost to Thriller to Tennessee. You got three losses now. You're not going to compete for the SEC championship game. You're not going to make the college football playoffs, okay? You succeeded Nick Saban. This is your worst loss since 2018, okay? What did they say here about this? They said something about it. your worst loss since 2018 national championship game. Worst against an unranked opponent since you lost to Virginia Tech in 1990. Okay, and it was the fewest points the tide has scored since 2004 against South Carolina. This is in the immediate aftermath of Nick Saban's departure. As far as I'm concerned, Alabama fans everywhere, Paul, Shea, they should be begging Nick Saban to quit college football game day because he's doing a great job. <laughs> Beg him to quit the damn show, okay, and go Let's back to back. Alabama right now <laughs> and save this program from an abyss because Kellen DeBoer in the SEC – I'm not feeling him, y'all. I'm just not feeling him. This is roll tied my behind. I mean, this is bad. Roll tied. You ain't going to hear me say that again. I'm ashamed roll of over. what we've seen. Roll, roll over tied. Roll over tied. Or well, tied detergent. How about that? Use tied detergent to clean up. We can't even associate tied with Alabama right Paul. now. It's bad. It's bad. Hammer!